So, I am on a mission to put up a yard fence and I know the dimensions, the length and the width, I'm ready to go. I walk up to the counter at the home improvement store and say, hello. Oh, hello. How can I help you? So I tell her, you see, I need some fencing for my backyard to make it look nice. My place is in the shape of a rectangle, and I'm looking for a good price. The length of my terrain is 12 meters, and so is the opposite side. The width's a little bit shorter, only 6 meters wide. So we've got perimeter and area. Uh, which one's perimeter and which is area? I know, so many kids out there, they confuse the two. The hysteria. But no, not me. No? Because I know P equals L plus L plus W plus W. That's the formula for perimeter. Let me be of some assistance. Perimeter is the distance. Or length around like a yard fence. Find the sum of the sides with addition. You also gotta know about area, the space that your D figure takes up. Count up the squares or multiply the length times width. And don't forget to use square units. So, on to the next mission I wanna put sod in and I know. The dimensions, the length and the width, I'm ready to go. I walk up to the counter at the home improvement store and say hello. Oh, you're back, hello, how can I help you this time? So I tell her. You see, I need some sod for my backyard to make it look nice. My place is in the shape of a rectangle. You know I'm looking for a good price. The length of my terrain is 12 meters, and so is the opposite side. The width's a little bit shorter, only 6 meters wide. I love area and perimeter. Wait, what's the difference between area and perimeter? Hmm, like I said, most kids find the two confusing at first. It's okay. But not today, because we know A equals L times W. That's the formula to find the area. Let me be of some assistance. Perimeter is the distance. Or length around like a yard fence. Find the sum of the sides with addition. You also got to know about area, the space that your D figure takes up. Count up the squares or multiply the length times width. And don't forget to use square units.